So let's take a look at the first habit then, so that we can understand how well we've done at this and how well other people around us have done at this. The first, the first one is to be proactive. Habit number one, be proactive. We've all heard of the word reactive. What's the difference between being proactive and reactive? Proactive, who's deciding what I do? I am. I'm going to decide what I'm going to say or what I'm going to do. Reactive is when something else happens and I'm reacting to it, right? Don't you love reactive people? Reactive people are the people who walk outside and if it's cloudy or rainy, suddenly what happens? Their mood is affected by that. Wait a minute. Who says that the weather outside needs to cause that in you? That's being reactive. Being proactive means you carry your own weather inside of you. And even if it's dark and gloomy and cloudy and raining outside, doesn't matter, it's sunny inside. Right? Stephen Covey says, there's a space between stimulus and response so that we have stimulus of anything that happens around us. <coughs> and response is how it is that we're going to respond between the stimulus, what happens to us, and the response, what we do, there's a gap in there. And the challenge for us then is that it's in that gap that we have the freedom to choose. Stephen Covey points to Viktor Frankl, whom we read last time we were together, and said, remember, the stimulus, that's the, the, the person saying, look, we can escape from the concentration camp, follow me. That's the stimulus. Now you have to decide, are you going to follow that person? or not. What's between stimulus and response? Your freedom. You are free to choose. And that's what was so frightening to Viktor Frankl because no one was forcing him. No one had a gun to his head and said, follow, uh, do this. No. He had the freedom to choose and he had to accept the responsibility for his actions. All of us in this room have to accept responsibility for our actions. If you said or did something, <coughs> how do kids respond? <coughs> well, he made me do it. Well, she did that, so I was just getting even. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Part of moving from dependence to independence <coughs> is taking responsibility for your actions. Which is why I love the word that <coughs> Stephen King comes up with. He says, responsibility, think of it in this way, it is your ability to respond. We need to take responsibility for, my action, for our actions. I need to take responsibility for my actions. You need to take responsibility for yours. Simply meaning that you have the ability to choose your response. No one makes you do anything. Well, I had to do it because she, no, 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 no. You don't have to do it. You didn't have to do it. You chose to do whatever it is that you did. If you went to work this morning, great, good for you. You chose that. Don't, don't blame anyone but yourself. If you chose to come to class, whatever you choose in life, you are choosing to do those things. And so he talks about responsibility, and he talks about reactive people. He says, reactive people react to their own environment. Proactive people carry their own weather within them. So it doesn't matter. We're not reacting to things on the outside. We are determining how it is that we are going to respond in any situation. A profound quote, he says, I am what I am today. Think about this for a moment. Because of the choices I made yesterday. Who are you right now at this moment in your life? I'll tell you who you are. You are the sum of your decisions. All the decisions that you made in life have brought you to this point today. And if you don't like something about yourself, great news, you can change it. I can't change it for you. You are the only person that can change whatever it is that you don't like about yourself. I don't like the fact that I arrive late all the time. So I told myself, I am going to arrive by 6 o'clock p.m. this evening. I am going to show Andy. Right? <laughs> we have the ability to change. Follow me? 
We have the ability to change. We have the ability to take a look at ourselves and see what it is we like or like a little less and figure out, okay, what am I going to do about that? Examples of reactive language versus proactive language. So Stephen Covey is trying to help us to understand the difference between being reactive or proactive. Can we look at those words and see the differences, right? Reactive, people say, there's nothing I can do. Okay. There's nothing you can do? That's just the way I am? Oh, yikes. Right? That person is not taking responsibility for his or her actions. He makes me so mad. They won't allow that. I have to do that. I can't. I must. If only. These are examples of words coming out of the mouths of reactive people. When people come to us then and use these types of words, wait a minute, it should send a red flag up. It should send the alarms off in our mind so that we can at least help them to see. They see things one way. Well, I, I had to do that. He made me so mad that he made me do it. Okay? Let me help you to see it from another perspective. You are free to choose your own actions. He didn't make you do anything. Words that we hear out of the mouths of more proactive people. Let's look at our alternatives. I can choose a different approach. I control my own feelings. I can create. I will choose an appropriate response. I choose. I prefer. I will. It's a different way of thinking when I know that I am able to choose my response. No one forces me in any moment. Viktor Frankl said exactly that. In the concentration camp, someone points a gun to me and tells me to do something. You know what? Got news for you. I can choose my own response. That person with that gun cannot make me do anything I don't want to do. Follow me? <clears throat> if I choose to do it, it's my choice. And I might choose to do it, right? To stay alive, I might prefer to stay alive, so I'll do it. Or... I'm free to choose another response and say, you know what, I'm going to take the chance and defy this person. I am free to do that as well. But either way, I have the ability to choose my response.